What's up, YouTube people? Ah, finally a situation where I can scream to my heart's content, RIP, headphone users. Welcome to the Cody Franklin birthday turn up, turn, turn, turn up, cancer gang, turn up, Cody Franklin alternate history, turn up. Okay, we done. <laughs> My apologies for subjecting you to that nonsense. Um, but it is actually the birthday of another really dope Cancerian author from Ohio. His Lordship Cody Franklin of the Alternate History Hub channel. And that's uh, definitely pretty awesome to be getting a lot of love from the r slash Alternate History Hub Discord. All kinds of love from Against the World, G R I P headphone users. He's sure to be in the building. We're trying to do a uh, Hemingway stream at his house at some point, possibly later on this evening. Um, been hyping that up for a minute, but I'm glad I did to celebrate one of the dopest writers from Ohio currently, you know, aside from myself who just so happens to also fall under the Cancerian Zodiac sign, and as such deserves my utmost respect and admiration. Uh, also, I entered a huge contest on this guy's YouTube channel, Alternate History Hub. He's right at 1.8 million. I think I got enough clout on here to get him up to two. What do y'all say? Well, beloved duck doves, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But we got to get all the joy out of our system before we get too much into this uh, awesome depression fest. Because it's a really great book with a really powerful message and it gets really sad. Uh, although I did have a couple complaints about it. And I'm sure you guys will probably have complaints about it too. Assuming that uh, you can even follow the garbled mess that is my train of thought. As I read these things out loud. Because it might sound good to me and end up just coming out. <laughs> Mm. Tea kettle gang, tea kettle gang over microwave gang. Tea kettles over microwaves, yes. Yes, indeed. But yeah, Elantrifa articles. Cody Franklin. It's dedicated to his mother, Julie, which shouts out to the moms out there. We need y'all. It's uh, You already know, dope maps. All day, always dope maps. You got to wonder if he had Emperor Tiger Star from the Emperor Tiger Star channel and uh, Chris, or Tristan from the uh, Step Back History channel and all them working on this book as well. Because the maps are real crispy. Some of the character descriptions, the language gets foul. The language gets really messed up and foul, but it's it's almost makes a modern read more enjoyable. But anyway, chapter one is called The Rusted Arm. I'm going to be trying to avoid the urge to read this whole thing in an evil Nazi voice because he is an evil future alternate Nazi man. But uh, yes, what an absolute waste. Such a fine drink was now spilled onto the floor, mixing together with never growing pool of blood from a Marian whore. Imagine that whiskey's journey, the time and effort it must have taken to reach perfection. Brewed and bottled, then put into a crate and transported all the way south to the edge of civilization, simply to be ruined in such a callous manner. It was an expensive bottle, and I'm certain the price matched the work. I'm quite looking forward to enjoying such handiwork. Yet, instead, all of it is now a puddle of glass and blood at my feet. Dumb bitch. God, dude, I'm trying to... Yeah, trying to... Uh... I just got a bunch of texts from like two or three different people. You know? Against the world, gee, is probably going to be in the building. Also, shouts out Octawave. 
you are not a dumb bitch. You are awesome. <laughs> uh, shouts out. Don't watch. Continue. Uh, shouts out. Marie, shouts out. Brittany Hicks uh, and her brother Rock. We're going to probably do some readings at Rock's house eventually. One of these days, he's going to at least make me, he's going to at least have to say yes to Chinua Chibe. So, <clears throat> but I sit here in this booth waiting for somebody to settle the matter. Few patrons in the bar glance over, and those who do quickly turn back to their drinks. An injured bar whore on this ferry is not a tragedy to warrant more than a few seconds of curiosity. She will just not stop shrieking. The shaking mess is curled up next to the table she clumsily knocked over. She's wailing like a banshee, and it's getting on my nerves. Her good hand is clutching the Reich marks that she stole from my pocket. Uh, it's depressing already. <laughs> She has sat in my lap, slipped her hand in my pocket, and taken the money inside, thinking I wouldn't catch it. As she gripped the money, I gripped her twig of a forearm and shattered that fucking thing in half. Bone is piercing out of flesh. Some red pulp is dripping onto the wooden floor. Serves her right. She tried to get away and toppled everything with her. The table, the drink, my patience. A dark cardinal red river is flowing down her pale, fair skin. I was very eager to get acquainted with that body before we made landfall. She seemed like a quality girl, blonde, in abundance of curves, smooth, pearly skin. If she had made some good life decisions and weren't the bar whore, I figured she could have made a fine Aryan wife. Just my luck, the best-looking specimen tries to be a thief. Pity. I motioned for another drink and for somebody to take this whimpering mess away from me. Four girls scurry into the bar. One hands me a new bottle of liquor. The second places the mat over the pool of blood. And the last two drag away the sobbing bitch. It was a nice little display. One of the girls snatches my Reichsmarks, black, Reichsmarks back from the bleeding bar whore's grasp and places the money firmly into my hands. As the rest leave the room, she gives a gracious bow, apologizes in a regretful tone, for the inconvenience and finally floats out of the room to leave me in peace. What was that for? A voice calmly says at the other end of the bar. I turn my face to its owner. His slim figure is draped in an overcoat that flows down to his knees. On top of an already bulky coat is a shell of metal armored plates. They are golden just like his features, blonde hair and slick back with short trim beard to match. His youth of 20 years really contrasts with my own aging exterior. Even though we're only 10 years apart in age, I can't help but notice the difference. You saw what she did, Ulrich, I said, pointing to the mat which had been laid down to cover the puddle of blood. Had to protect my money. <laughs> Ulrich makes his way across the bar toward me, setting his attention at the still sideways table. The problems are settled differently down here, I explained to him in a collected manner as we both propped the table back up. Well, quite different in Germania, I guess, Ulrich hesitantly rationalizes as he joins me at the booth. His head is laced with nervousness. I expected he'd be a little uneasy considering this his first deployment down south. My brother has quite... Bah, I don't know, what. let me get a sip of tea, I don't know what's up with my throat today. Ah, oh, man, he's quite different than Germania, I guess. Ulrich hesitantly rationalizes as he joins me at the booth. His voice is laced with nervousness. I expected he'd be a little uneasy, considering this is his first deployment down south. My brother has lived a quiet life in the pristine capital of the Reich, a place of beautiful monuments, tall winding towers, and dense green forests. Sometimes I don't know the strength of this thing, I say, shifting my display to my left arm, or what is now my arm. Drops of the girl's blood paint the side of my rusty mechanical limb. I probably should wipe it off. It's common practice to put artificial skin over such a thing, but I just never bothered. Fake skin never wrinkles. It stays in the same perfect condition forever, unlike the rest of me. 
I've already seen my age, skin, and wrinkle, even if it was just a bit. At least as a metal rust, my body degeneration will be uniform and balanced process. I take a napkin and begin cleaning the blood off of my limb. I don't get why this arm is always the dominant one. Even after 10 years of losing it, it still thinks in charge. That, even 10 years after losing it, it still thinks it's in charge. Don't you think there could have been another way handling that situation? Ulrich says while watching the cleaning display. Could have just stopped her and got the money back. She was just a little thing. I nod in aloof agreement while cleaning away the last bits of blood. It was the same dark crimson as Ulrich's uniform. Standard for an SS knight. The gold eagle and skull pinned to his chest shines against the lamp hanging above us. I wouldn't get caught up on it, Ulrich. It's not like it's much of a loss, I reason. If you knew how many girls go through every season, you'd know that she can be replaced like that. I snap my fingers. Don't get queasy. I know you're a pacifist and all. Oh, I'm not a pacifist, Ulrich defends. Oh, I've just never seen violence like that before. Not a pacifist. Sure. I joke, pointing to his uniform. The knighthood maintains cultural integrity, Ulrich explains, his hands clenched together as his body slouches over. We aren't some peace organization. So getting caught up on a bar whore is maintaining culture. I laugh, looking around the dim room. Not one of the occupants was looking back at us. The bartender was cleaning one of his glasses, having a quiet conversation with a man in a gray uniform. None paid much mind to my brother and me. Ulrich's eyes lock on the last drops of blood I'm wiping from my limb. It's as if he has something to say, but instead simply lets out a deep breath, unclenches his hands, and orders another drink. No, it is about protecting the tribe, he explains. The only way to protect the tribe is to make sure we aren't attacked by another tribe, I state. There's so many ways to protect a tribe, Ansel. Ulrich lectures, his eyes narrowing. Such is a respecting your fellow Aryans. I chuckle to myself, almost spitting up my drink. Ulrich wrinkles his brow at me with an expression of annoyance. Because you're saying I should have respected that whore since she's an airy. I choke out through spits of laughter. The tribe that fights amongst itself is bound to collapse, he concludes. Well, I'm going to fight some great war just because I've 